everyone uh, welcome back in this video we're talking about uh, file shares and how can we connect it with uh, azure active directory domain services so let's go ahead and start so initial i just created a storage uh, resource group which is storage dash uh, rg in this i have created uh, my storage account so to create this storage account you can just click create here and under here you can search for storage so you can click the storage account click create and you just need to give your name here that's it and select the resource group that we have created which is storage rg and that's it uh, you can just review it and create it everything will be done default which we have talked about this uh, in the previous videos so once this is done you just need to review it, review and create it error is because you didn't give the name so that's the reason so once the storage account is created so let me go back to my uh, resource group and we can see this is the resource uh, storage group that I have created. So this is storage account and under the data storage you have file shares. So click that and you can see under the file shares you have uh, like I already created one which is file share uh, one. So to create this you can click create and uh, here you, ha uh, you have to just give the name. So in this case I have give uh, file share one. So coming to the tiles you have uh, you know different tiles here. So basically if you talk about the hot, so the tire is optimized for frequent access and is designed for the workloads that require high performance file storage and it has higher storage cost compared to other uh, tires but provides a uh, lower access costs. On the other hand if you talk about cool, so this tire is optimized for infrequent access and is uh, designed for workloads that require data to be stored for a longer period of time but access uh, uh, but accesses less uh, frequently so it has a lower storage cost compared to hot tire but uh, higher higher access costs on the other hand if you talk about the transaction uh, optimized so this tire is uh, optimized for the workloads that require a higher number of transactions per second and is designed for applications that need low latency file access so it has uh, a higher storage cost compared to cool tire but lower access costs so that is the difference between these two so i'll just leave it as default which is a transaction optimized and uh, you can just create the name here and create so that is how you can create it and once it is created you can see here uh, under the file sharing settings you have active directory which is not configured so you can click that so here you have various options so active directory active directory domain services uh, azure ad kerberos so coming to the first one, uh, Active Directory is centralized uh, directory service that allows administrators to manage users account, computers and other resources within the organization. So it provides a secure way to authenticate uh, and authorize users to access file shares and other uh, resources. Coming to the second uh, one, so it's a cloud uh, based service that provides a similar functionality as AD but is designed to uh, work with Azure VMs and other uh, cloud resources. So it allows a user to authenticate uh, to file shares and other resources using their uh, Azure AD credentials. Coming to the third one, which is Kerberos, it is a network uh, authentication protocol that is used to provide uh, secure authentication to file shares and uh, other resources. Azure, uh, Azure AD Kerberos allows user to authenticate uh, to file shares using Kerberos authentication. And it, it works in conjunction with Azure AD Domain Service and Azure File Shares to provide a secure access to files and folders. So that is what uh, the difference between these. And in this case, you can just uh, click create here. So you can just click setup and here you can see before enabling this setting, make sure that Azure uh, Active Directory Domain Services is enabled on your Azure tenant otherwise this will fail so you just need to click here and save it once you have created this uh, domain uh, you know uh, services so I have already created it but still it's in the progress so obviously I'll be getting it since not, it's not uh, uh, deployed uh, now so let me show you uh, you can just click create here so if you click create here search for uh, Azure uh, AD domain services so we can uh, read about uh, this Azure AD uh, domain services so if you talk more about this one uh, it's a cloud-based service provided by Azure uh, 
that allows you to manage and control user authentication and authorization for services in your network so it provides a managed uh, domain service that can use to join azure virtual machines to a domain and it also supports uh, LDAP and Kerberos protocols for uh, applications that require them. In simple terms, Azure uh, Domain Services is like having a traditional on-premises Active Directory service but hosted in the cloud, which uh, can help you to re uh, reduce the management overhead and the uh, cost of maintaining an on-premises AD infrastructure. So when you click here, there will be a domain name. So obviously I'll be getting errors since it's already been created. So I just wanted to show you that uh, Okay, so I don't think I can show you in this video since it's uh, taking a lot of time though. So basically you just need to give the name. So everything will be by default. So there is nothing to do uh, in this case, you just need to click create. So that's what uh, I have done here. So that is what it's uh, processing. So whenever you click your uh, virtual machine, so you can access your files there. So you see everything is been created. So in your, in your uh, if you go to your uh, virtual machine and if you click uh, settings and in that about, you can see it's connected to this domain. So it will be connected when you, uh, you know, connect it. So that is done here. Uh, so here uh, you can see, you can just click active directory. It's obviously showing error because uh, it's not configured yet. So you can just uh, click show script and paste it in your uh, virtual machine. So that's how you can get connected and you can add the files and uh, you know, you can obviously it will be reflected in this cloud. So yeah, uh, so today's video is just for the theoretical, you know, uh, how it actually works. So here, yeah. so this is how you have to create it. So in coming videos, I'll try, uh, try to talk more about uh, these services uh, coming to this video. I hope you guys understood the concept of today's video. If you've liked the video, please click the like button below. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and please share the video. Thanks everyone.